All right, so question four to six, we have a set of other pairs below represents a relation that is a function. And how we know that? Because if we look at the first number in the bracket, those are our input values. And our input values should not repeat. Okay, our input values should not repeat. So if we look at the input values, going on to the output values, input to output, these are our x values and then our y values. We have 2, we have negative 4, and we have 10. 2 goes to 7, negative 4 goes to 6, and 10 goes to 4. So that's a one-to-one -one mapping. All right, if we should add a, which is as 2, 8, if we add, all right, so let's put 8 somewhere here. Notice that 2 is here, and so 2 will go to 8. We don't write the numbers twice, all right, in the same, um, should I put call that, in the same circle or oval shape, all right? So 2 goes to 7 and 2 goes to 8. That's a one to many. So this one will be out. This one, as in, it would not be a function if we put this one in it. In fact, that's what they're asking for. Which one would form a relationship that's not a function? And it will be A. All right, 2, 8. Because you see, 2 goes to 7 and 2 goes to 8. That's a one going on to many. And that's because the two repeated. 2 goes to 7 and 2 again goes to 8. We already have a 2 going to 7, so we should not have a 2 going to 8. It's a 1 to many. And once it says too many, it's not a function. So many to many is not a function, and 1 to many is not a function. Only 1 to 1 and many to 1. So the y's can repeat, but not the x, or the input values.